Braden Darsky. Let's start with why I wear a tie so short. So the first time I wore a tie all by myself in my young adult life, I, that day I went to a public restroom and I, I went to wash my hands. After I did my, my stuff, I went to wash my hands. And when I bent down, the tie fell into the sink. And I was like, ah! 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 It had a mini freak out. I was like, ah! <laughs> and so I'm like, God, I need your help. There's gotta be a way to, there needs to be like a shorter tie setup thing. And eventually over time, it evolved into this wonderful beauty. But Brayden, why don't you just wear a tie clip? No thank you, big no thank you. I'm eventually gonna have a video on not pulling focus, but until then, that's the argument in a nutshell, is the tie clip pulls focus from the rest of what's going on. There's other wonderful benefits too. Like, it's a lot less awkward to dance with a shorter tie than it is a full tie. I'm sometimes spinning and ties don't eh. And sometimes when you drop something on the ground, it's so nice to not have your tie fall on the ground when you're picking something up. <sighs> the next piece of this tie puzzle was the full Windsor. Now I learned how to tie a full Windsor in the description below. You can find the same video that taught me so well in there. I went dancing one night and at the time I was just tying half a Windsor and I didn't know the difference between a, a full Windsor and a half a Windsor. This beautiful young lady came up to me and she's like, I love your tie. I'm like, you wanna try it on? And she's like, yeah. And so I took it off and um, she's like, I, 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 don't, I don't think I know how to tie a tie. So I, t I showed her how to tie a tie half a Windsor. And then her mom was like, you should try a full Windsor. I'm like, what's a full Windsor? And she's like, well, that's half a Windsor. I'm like, oh. And so we YouTubed it and I'm like, okay. And then I went home and I did it on myself and it was beautiful. And I was like, oh, I'm, it started to grow on me. And then as the tie got shorter, this knot got bigger, and I was like, wow, this is gorgeous, and I fell in love with it. The third piece of this awesome tie puzzle was one time my two cousins, Leonard and Alicia, were up here, and they both saw my tie, and they're like, wow, I wanna wear a tie, and I had a bunch of ties. I'm like, okay, let's have a tie party. So we were all wearing ties, and at the time, we all had just one tie on. Well, my cousin Leonard, he was like, I, you know, at three quarters through the night, he's like, I'm not really feeling this tie anymore. I'm like, that's fine, give it to me. And instead of walking 10 feet back to my room to put my tie up, I just put it on over the other tie I had. I'm like, and then I looked in the mirror, I'm like, this is beautiful. And I instantly fell in love with it. And I don't wear a double tie all the time, but it is nice. Pick out your ties for the evening. You're just gonna have to play around with this. I don't know the exact science. I just eyeball it. Whenever it's not long enough, I shorten one side, and if it's too long, then I shorten the other side. Again, this is not a teaching video. You can check in the description to learn how to tie a full Windsor. There's some fun things you can do with this look. You can make one, one length longer than the other. I like having the secondary color be a little on the bottom or a little on top. I also like having the secondary color a little longer than the primary color. I also like having it off to the side of the primary color. That's my favorite. 
is having the secondary color just off center of the primary color. And then I don't, I'm good with both ways of the orange on the secondary color on top or bottom. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. Right now, I've realized that my absolute favorite is this. This is my favorite way to wear the ties. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Bye.